Hi, welcome. My name is Ray Minton and this is the third of our series in Taking Lemons and Making Lemonade. I am a yoga instructor for Orange City Area Health and we've looked at some beginning yoga, some moon yoga, and now we're looking at rise and shine which involves sun salutations. This is the most invigorating and challenging practice and challenge is our theme that we're going through in this series. So challenge is that general term referring to things that involve a sense of difficulty, yet victory. I think we need to focus on that victory as it tests our abilities and resilience through demanding yet stimulating situations and undertakings. So this practice, if you find that you just get swept away and it is too challenging, let yourself find a pose within some of this. Maybe it is in Tadasana Mountain pose where you just feel strong and steady. Maybe it's a down dog, maybe it's lying on your back. You can always reintegrate if you find that you get lost in this practice. It does move at quite a little clip, but that's what makes it refreshing and, and invigorating. So let's start just by connecting to the breath. Always important, if you lose track of your breath, you've lost track of your practice. So stand up nice and tall, relax those shoulders, soften the eyes, and just set aside the idea of how challenging could this be, or oh, it's not gonna be challenging enough. Just experience your body in space with your breath. So I like to find what's called Ujjaya. This is your victorious breath, and it's also your guide and your companion. So I'd like you to clear your throat. <clears throat> You can feel those muscles, that tone. We want them to have a little firmness. If that feels too esoteric, I want you to think of fogging up a mirror. That sound is what you're gonna create as the throat tones. It'll tell you your breath's coming in as well as letting it go. So I'd like you to bring your hands to your heart. Just press the thumbs in a little bit. Let your fingers reach out and radiate. This is a connection to yourself and a connection to everyone. It's like the rays of the sun. It comes from the light within and you shine that on others. I want you to just soften and see the rhythm of your breath along with the rhythm of your heart. This series will include a lot more backbending, so that's what makes it heating. We're gonna do an invigorating breath called Breath of Joy. This will really get the heart rate up and start to get your blood moving. So let's open up our feet so they're just a little wider than hip distance. We're gonna take three, count them, three sniffs at a time. We're gonna first take a sniff when we reach our arms up, stretching the body. Then we're gonna take another sniff where we reach our arms out wide. We'll take a sniff where we cross the arms in front of the body, and then we're gonna deeply bend the knees. We're gonna curl forward and blow all the breath out through the mouth. Then we'll inhale, reach up, take a sniff. Take a reach, sniff. Cross the arms, sniff. Exhale, bow down, blow it out. <sighs> Inhale, let's reach up, sniff. And reach out, sniff. And cross the arms, sniff. Blow it out. <sighs> <sighs> we're stretching the ribs, we're opening the chest, we're stimulating the heart with these arm swings and sniffs. Blow out the tension, blow out what you don't need, blow out any expectations. Nice, we're gonna do three more. <sighs> reach up, reach out, cross, release. Here's the last one. <sighs> and come up to vertical. Let the hands gently find their way in a prayer position in front of the heart. Just notice that the heart is moving at a little quicker pace. This is the stimulation we're gonna get in this practice. So sun salutations. We're gonna take them to the short edge of your mat, known as Surya Namaskar. Just honoring the vitality and the intensity that we're looking forward to with sun and the arrival of spring and that summer season. So we're gonna start with some half salutations, just to kind of open and close the body. So take a nice big inhale, circle the arms wide, let yourself reach and give yourself a gentle arc back. Then arms go wide, soft knees as you hinge of the hips to take a forward fold. Find your fingertips on your shins, lengthen your spine forward and up halfway. Then exhale, soften the knees and let yourself fold. You're gonna press through the feet, circle, sweep, reach on up to vertical. 
and let the hands come back to the heart. That's a half sun salutation. Artisurian Namaskar. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, that's upward reaching hands. Exhale, wand, wide swan dive to take you into Uttanasana, forward fold. Half of that fold, inhale, lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, complete fold, let your head go, Uttanasana. Press through the feet, circle sweep, reach up, upward reaching hands, Urdhva Hastasana, back to the heart, Tadasana. One more time. Inhale, so you get a sense of that opening. Exhales are that body closing. Inhale here is strengthening, lengthening legs and spine. Exhale, you let it all go. Press through the feet, circle sweep, come on up to vertical. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a moment and feel steady. Remember at any time, Tadasana is a great place to reconnect with your breath. Going through a classic salute. So we're going to add some back bends and our down dog. Take an inhale, reach on up. There's that Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, big wide swan dive. Forward lean forward, Uttanasana. Halfway up is our Ardha Uttanasana. Hands go to the mat. And you're going to step both legs back. Coming to a plank position. Now elbows are soft, creases are forward. Head, we're looking in front of the fingertips rather than to the belly or forward. Just let your spine feel long. From our plank, bring your knees to the mat. Let the elbows glide the ribs as you bring your heart and chin down. This is Ashtangasana. Use the toes and the arms to help curl you forward into Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. Tuck those toes, lift the hips, stretch back to Downward Facing Dog. Take a little walk, stretching the body out. Remember Downward Facing Dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana is energizing for the spine and the limbs. You know, find a place where the heels are heavy. They don't need to touch the mat. If it's too much for your legs, soften those knees. Remember, this is a result, not a goal. When you get to this point, look forward, soft knees, take a little walk to your hands. Press on those shins, come halfway up. Exhale, fold forward again. Press through the feet, inhale, reach and rise. This is our time to come to vertical. Exhale, hands to the heart. Nice. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Feel that gentle back bend. Then exhale, forward fold into Uttanasana. Halfway up, lengthen, strengthen. Ardha Uttanasana, hands to the mat. Just see, what foot did I step back? Can I take the other one back first for my plank? Let the hands be underneath the shoulders. The toes are in a tuck. Feel strong. Let yourself feel supported. Inhale. Exhale, knees down, elbows to ribs, heart down, chin down, Ashtangasana. Then use the toes to curl you forward. Arms help you float, Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take that dog for a walk. Let yourself settle. Press into the hands, hips are high, heels are heavy. Then you're gonna take a little look forward, bend your knees, and take a walk to the top. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, reach and sweep. Here's our Urdhva Hastasana. Back to the heart, Tadasana. We're gonna do a little core strengthening. Because when we go into our A series, we're gonna find those warriors, but we're gonna to need to step forward and back. Probably one of the most challenging parts on this mat. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. There's our swan dive, Uttanasana. Our half lift, strengthen and lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Hands on the mat, step back. Here's our plank position. We're gonna lower the knees, we're gonna lower the chest and chin, and then we're gonna curl up again into Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, come into Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Now from your down dog, I'd like you to walk your hands a little wider. I'd like your feet to come a little closer. We're gonna start lifting the leg. So let your head relax, right? You're feeling as if this right leg is gonna lift you up and back. So let the left heel be as heavy as you can. Inhale, pick that right heel up and you kick and scissors those legs apart. Now as this leg is floating, feel as if someone's got a hold of that leg and drawing the weight out of your hands. We're gonna roll the ankle in both directions. Then we're gonna put a bend in that right knee and we're gonna kick the toes over to the left shoulder so that we can twist the hip. We need this hip open if we're gonna find a big step forward. Twisting our dog. 
Nice, take another inhale, level out your hips. Here's where it gets exciting. We're gonna go into a plank with a knee to nose. So take a big inhale, glide to your plank, exhale, curl the knee to the nose. Then inhale, kick your leg up, that one leg dog lifts. Exhale, come to your plank, exhale, knee to nose, hug it in. Inhale, here we go, lifting, feel that kick. One more time, knee to nose. Inhale, feel that lift. Nice, as you exhale, slowly bring those toes down to meet the left. You feel like, whoa, already a challenge. Soften the knees, stretch back, child's pose, or take an extra breath and downward facing dog. Because we know this goes to the other side. So reserve your energy, we're just getting started. If you found your child's pose, which is nice and low, some call it puppy pose, you're gonna lift those hips. Our downward facing dog gives the left leg a lift. So use that inhale to make the leg light. Remember, it's as if someone were stretching you back. You have less weight in the hands. You take a nice breath, you roll the ankle. It's floating, why not use that space? Then we're gonna put a bend in the left knee and we're gonna kick those toes over to the right, twisting and opening the hip. Now I know there's a lot of weight in the hands. See if you can keep it in that right heel and keep the weight in the hands balanced. We're just seeing if we can free the hip for those steps forward in our warriors. Take a nice big inhale, level up the hips, do that kick. Here's the power. Exhale, glide to a plank, curl your knees to your nose. Inhale, reach. You're like, oh my gosh, this is going to kill me. Drop your left, right knee, and bring the knee to the nose. You can always do a variation here, right? Grounding. If you're doing that reach, do one more lift and then exhale, bring those toes to the mat. We're gonna bend the knees, we're gonna look to the top and take a little walk. Come halfway up, strengthen and lengthen the legs and spine, exhale, let it go. Open up your feet, take your thumbs, bring them into the elbow crease and just do a little swing. I know a lot of upper body strength. Just let it go. Then slowly come to center, release the arms. Take a press through the feet, inhale, reach, come on up to vertical. Exhale, hands to the heart, smile. Just feel all that upper body strength. We're gonna take it to the lower body, doing some of our warriors. So get strong, feel steady, stable. Take an inhale, sweep and reach. Exhale, take your forward fold. Then press through the feet, come up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. This time, bring just your right leg back. Step that foot and the heel to the mat. Keep the front knee in a bend, circle sweep, come up to Virabhadrasana one. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands go to the mat. You're gonna step that left foot back. You can do your knees, chest and chin, or one long line. Elbows skin the ribs, this would be Chaturanga. Inhale, then you glide over the toes to come to a deeper back bend. This is upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Then we go to our beloved downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take an inhale, right leg would go high to the sky. We hug knee to nose so we can step to the top of the mat. Then we anchor that back heel. Inhale, we reach and rise. Here's our Virabhadrasana one, the warrior. So Virabhadra is a peaceful, passionate warrior, conquering all the challenges that are ahead of them with grace. Take an inhale, exhale, hands go to the mat. This time you're gonna shift the weight into the right foot so you can pick the hips up and step that left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, completely let it go. Fold, inhale, reach and come up to vertical. Nice, hands go to the heart, here's the other side. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, your swan dive, Uttanasana. Halfway up is our Ardha Uttanasana. Then we fold, we're gonna take our left leg back, bring that heel to the mat, front knee has a bend, inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Feel your strength. Nice, inhale, hands to the mat. We step right foot back. Remember, you can do knees, chest, and chin, or elbows to the ribs, and go down chaturanga. 
Inhale, you glide over the toes, curl up to an up dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From down dog, inhale, lift that left leg. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, here's your lift. Virabhadrasana one. Hands go to the mat, you're gonna pick up the hips, and you're gonna step forward to your fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, circle sweep and reach on up to vertical. Nice hands to the heart. Flying into a very powerful standing balance, our Virabhadrasana three. Now set aside any expectations, just let yourself play, right? We just wanna warm our body, feel our strength, be amazed by yourself. Take an inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Swan Dive Uttanasana. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, let's bring the left leg back. Drop that heel to the mat. Keep that front knee in a bend. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, one. Now get steady, feel strong. Pinkies in, we're gonna do a little flow. Take an inhale here, and exhale, bring the heart forward and sweep the arms back by your hip. And then inhale, we slowly come up with a lift. Nice. Exhale, here we sweep. We drop the heart, arms sweep back. Inhale, we get a lift. Nice, one more like that. Sweeping through that warrior. Nice, this time when you sweep, see if you can reach, pop up that back heel, and then start to straighten the front leg and let the back heel lift. This is Virabhadrasana three, the flying balancing warrior. Take a breath, bend that front knee, anchor those toes in the mat, Virabhadrasana one. Nice. Let's walk that front foot forward and out to the side just a little bit. You're gonna bring your hands behind you. You can either do a lacing, a wrapping, whatever feels comfortable. We're gonna go into humble warrior. So let's go ahead and get that deep bend to the front knee, strong press to the back. Now give the chest some space. Humble warrior, big in breath. We're gonna exhale and bring the heart forward inside the knee. Bowing graciously. Softening the heart and the head. Notice how the heart is above the head though, so our heart can be our leader rather than always thinking through everything. Really go with some kindness and compassion. Take another inhale to open up the arms. You're gonna bring them to the inside of that big toe. Come up onto your back foot shoot that right leg back. Find that a regular chaturanga is not enough. Lower down chaturanga with one leg floating. Come to your back bend, cobra up dog. Let's find down dog. Down dog for three breaths. Little pup pose, that child's pose. Let yourself rest. If you were in this little puppy pose, find the hips getting a lift. Take an inhale and bring that left leg up. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Press your back heel down. Inhale, here's that Virabhadrasana one. Get steady in your pose, right? Don't rush. Sometimes we're always rushing forward and we're missing the experience that we're having now. We're gonna do that little flow, big inhale. Exhale, soften the heart, sweep the arms back. Inhale, here's your lift. And exhale, sweep. And here's your lift. One more like this, just a sweep of that warrior one. Inhale, we lift. We know we're gonna lift the back leg, so we sweep, we pick up the toe, and then we press so that back leg can float itself up into Virabhadrasana three. Just take three breaths. You can do anything for three breaths. Then you take your inhale, bend the front knee, exhale, step back, Virabhadrasana one. Hands to the big toe. Step that leg back. Either knees, chest, and chin, regular chaturanga, or one leg floats. Come into a back bend. And down dog. Take three breaths. Feel the heat and the power of warrior one and three. If you were in your little puppy pose, right? Your child's pose, you lift the hips. We're gonna bend the knees, look at the top of the mat, and then step, hop, 
or walk to the top, come halfway up. Exhale, let yourself fold. Press through the feet, reach, come on up to vertical. Exhale, hands to the heart. Nice, getting ready for our Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, here we go, reach on up. Urdhva Hastasana, forward fold. Uttanasana, halfway up. Ardha Uttanasana, fold, right leg back. Heel is to the mat, but spin the back heel out so the toes are to the long side, and then cartwheel open. Now check with that front foot, bring it a little more to center so it intersects your back arch. Maybe you like to inchworm those toes forward so we have a broader stance. Palms are up, shoulders are back. We let ourselves relax. Look over those front fingertips, infinite possibilities. Virabhadrasana two. We're gonna find a little reverse. So the front leg, keep a deep, healthy bend. Reach and exhale, revolve your warrior back. Feel how this is a heart opener, really strengthening to the front leg, getting a little rib space. Take three breaths. Take another inhale and exhale. We're gonna extend the warrior. We're gonna drop those fingertips down and we're gonna reach over our ear. Very much like a side angle here. We're getting strong through the side body, feeling a little heat as we release through that. Take an inhale and then exhale. Plant that hand to the mat, frame the foot, shoot that left leg back. You can go knees, chest, and chin, one long line, or with that leg flow, that's our vinyasa. Take an inhale, let right leg go up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat, anchor that back heel down. Remember, we've got that back toe to a little slash to the back of our mat. We're gonna take the front foot, make it intersect the back arch, maybe inchworm the toes forward, palms up, so shoulders are down. Infinite possibilities. Look over those front fingertips. You can stay here all day, but we'll take three breaths. We're gonna revolve our warrior, so reach. Keep that knee in a nice deep bend as you stretch back. Feel that intensity. Feel the opening quality of your heart. Take another big in breath. And then exhale, we're gonna cartwheel it down. Fingertips by the big toe, lengthening over the ear. Very much like our side angle here. It's our extended warrior. Can you still feel the rhythm of your breath? Take another inhale. Exhale that hands down, frame that front foot, send the leg back. Right knees, chest and chin, one long line, leg float. Here's our vinyasa. Back bend, down dog. You're gonna bend the knees, look to the top of the mat. Step, walk, hop to the top, lift halfway up. Exhale, let yourself fold. Press to the feet, reach and rise. Come on up to vertical. Hands to the heart. Nice. Close the eyes, hands resting at heart center. Just feel the thumbs press into you. Fingers reach out. Maybe there's a warm glow, a little perspiration, right? Feeling the intensity that you do in summer. That's waking up your internal sun. Nice. We're going to find ourselves coming down to the mat. So if you can, come to the top, reach up. We're going to lift up onto tiptoes, and then hands come to the heart. And if your knees will allow, we're going to slowly sink down. Feeling grounding. Hands come back. And from all that opening and closing, we're going to draw the knees into the chest. You're going to open the knees wide, so you can step the feet to the long sides of your mat. The arms go out wide. We're just gonna wring out some of that heat. So take a big inhale. With the feet staying wide, we're gonna drop both knees to the right, but we look to the left. Inhale, the knees and eyes are light. Exhale, the knees drop over to the left, eyes and reach over to the right. Inhale up, and we're just gonna rock. 
side to side. Maybe letting out with a sigh. Maybe you realize, ooh, I hadn't been breathing for how many moments in a row. Just reconnect to that breath one more time. Dropping knees to the left, eyes to the right. And then you reverse and the knees come to center. If all of that opening and closing, you find that your low back is tender, bring your feet in just a little bit so your knees touch. Hands could rest on the belly. This is constructive rest. You can stretch the legs out. Your arms can fall by your sides. You nod a little yes. This is Shavasana, cool and quieting. Feel the support of the earth like you would on a nice warm summer day. Just basking, cool grass, fresh air. Ah, that sense of summer vacation. And as you allow yourself to rest, taking several breaths, I'd like to close our practice with a little thought about challenge. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. It has been my honor and a complete privilege to share these practices of yoga with you. Thank you so much. Namaste.